back to involve yourself in a league fixture there. But Celtic's tenancy has altered all of that. Still, there'll always be something special about the place for everyone involved with the amateurs, especially Eddie Hunter. With an astonishing straight 35 years involvement with the club beneath his belt, 15 of them as coach. And we know the longest in the game that's escaped the act. I don't get a result here today. I could, be, I could be joining that queue as well. How do you put up with it year every year? Because it's mission impossible when you're an amateur side, is it not? Uh, it's reverse rules check. I don't put up with it. They've got to put up with me. No, I just find that uh, people always say, "Why have you been here? Why do you do this? Why do I do?" It? I don't know. I mean, I've had more opportunities, lots of opportunities, but I just feel that the, 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 the call and the asking to be at Hamden is something that uh, I don't know if I can ever re. Not many uh, Scottish players uh, have chance to play here. And for my players, it's a uh, uh, big bo uh, boost uh, to play here. And lift yourself as well? Oh yeah, hope, I hope. I tell you after the game. In fact, it was Cali Thistle who looked overawed throughout the first half. With the Hamden slopes eerily empty in stark contrast to Sunday's old firm game, it was Queen's who produced all the pressure. But Hamden, just as it has done in so many international occasions, unveiled a hard luck story for the home team. And it was a tale which ran for fully 45 minutes. Jim Orr with the latest close call. Into the second half though, and a curious twist. Cali Thistle lost their big stage nerves. A fine run by Michael Noble and a pass to match to the feet of Wilson Robertson. The pirouette and the class finish from the vastly experienced former Highland League star. In fact, it was the same goal mouth which was hosting all the action and Robertson was unlucky with the volley. At this stage, it was clear Queens would rue those first half misses. But then again, anything you can do in the first half, you can repeat in the second. How about this for scorning the main chance? Not exactly football to grace the famous turf. In the end, Cali Thistle clinched it with a penalty. No doubt about the award either. Paul McKenzie brought down by Graham Elder. A yellow card for the Queen's man's efforts. And McKenzie himself makes it 2-0. History in the making, Cali's first appearance at Hamden.